Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to talk all about the skin condition known as rosacea. I am sure there are a bunch of you out there that have heard of rosacea, and I'm sure there's a bunch of you who have rosacea. It affects more than 16 million Americans out there, and it's not even known what really causes it, but the symptoms of rosacea are extreme sensitivity. There is flushing of the skin, redness of the skin. There can be acne-like bumps to the skin. You can even get eye irritation, and you can also get thickened skin. So there is a whole host of symptoms that come along with it, but if you have rosacea, you just have very sensitive skin, and then it comes along with these redness and bumps, and that is known as like the flare-ups of rosacea. So we are gonna go over all that stuff today. I'm gonna let you guys know some good skincare advice and tips if you are dealing with rosacea, how you can best control it. So if you want to stick around and hear some skincare tips on rosacea, then just keep on watching. Okay, so tip number one is to learn and avoid your triggers. So with rosacea, again, it is sensitive skin that it can kind of go in and out. It can look like it's clearing up for a while, and then you might, you know, use something on your skin. There might be an environmental factor, and then you will see a flare up with your skin. You will see that redness come back. You will see those little bumps come back. So you will always kind of go through these stages where it looks like it's getting better, but then you will have flare-ups and a lot of times those flare-ups are due to triggers and those triggers can be anything from like spicy food to beverages like wine a lot of times wine will cause a flare-up there's also um, extreme weather like extreme heat extreme cold stress can cause a flare-up and also if you're using the wrong skincare products if you're using an irritating skincare product that will cause a flare-up as well so it's super important to kind of figure out what your triggers might be so really pay attention to your skin and then you want to avoid those triggers obviously Okay, tip number two is to moisturize your skin. Moisturizing your skin is so important if you have a rosacea. I mean, it's honestly one of the most important things you can do for your skin. Using the correct moisturizer is going to kind of create a barrier and shield to your skin where it's gonna lock out all the irritants that can affect and cause flare-ups to your skin. So you really wanna choose the right moisturizer for your skin because again, if you are using the wrong skincare products for your sensitive skin, then that is just going to make your rosacea worse and cause even more flare-ups. You really wanna make sure you're using a moisturizer that's made for extremely sensitive skin. You want to make sure that it's fragrance free, it's hypoallergenic, and I will show you guys this line is one of the best lines that you will ever come across if you have very sensitive skin, if you have rosacea, if you have eczema. This skincare line is amazing. And what I'm talking about is the Aven line. This line is phenomenal for sensitive rosacea skin. This is the Aven Hydrance Optimal, and this is a really good moisturizer if you have rosacea. Now, this is the light hydrating cream. There's also a more rich hydrating cream. This is actually what I'm wearing today. I love this moisturizer. It is so soothing to the skin. It again, is fragrance-free, hypoallergenic. It's everything you want to look for if you have sensitive rosacea skin. It's absolutely amazing. If you have rosacea, this again is going to be a great moisturizer for you. And again, it comes in a light version and a rich version, depending on if your skin is like normal to oily, which is this the light version is for. And then the rich version is more for normal to dry skin. But it is an awesome, awesome moisturizer. I would highly recommend this. It's so good. But yes, moisturizing is very important. Moisturizing with the correct moisturizer is very important. Any doctor, any dermatologist will tell you this. Moisturize, moisturize, and moisturize. All right, tip number three is use a gentle cleanser. This is, again, super important, and this is going back to the fact that you need to use the right skincare products for your skin type. You want to make sure you're using a very gentle cleanser. You don't want to use anything too harsh. You don't want to be scrubbing your skin. You don't want to be using a lot of glycolics or any type of like salicylic acid. Those are just going to be too harsh for your skin, and it can definitely create some more flare-ups of your skin. So again, going back to the Aven line, like I said, this Aven line, I'm telling you, if you have sensitive rosacea skin, this is just the best line, I'm telling you guys. So this is the Aven, the anti rougeurs Dermo Cleansing Milk. So I love this cleanser again. This is what I'm using right now. I talked about this in a favorites video because it is so good. But the Aven, the anti rougeurs they have a couple products that are the anti rougeurs This is made specifically for rosacea because it actually takes the red out of your skin and it is amazing. So this is a super gentle cleanser. It removes makeup, it soothes the skin and creates such a soft skin. I love the way this feels. So if you have rosacea, if you have sensitive skin, this is just going to soothe your skin, which is what you want with rosacea. You want to soothe everything so it calms the skin and that is exactly what this does. And it also will help to control the redness in your skin too. So something like this, very, very gentle cleanser. This has a lot of beneficial ingredients to sensitive rosacea skin, that's what you want. Okay, so tip number four is to skip your facials, skip your microdermal 
abrasion and skip chemical peels. All those things, while they're good for people that don't have rosacea, if you have rosacea, those things are going to be so irritating for your skin. All those type of procedures like microdermabrasion and a chemical peel, they're all going to be too rough and too aggravating to the skin. It will definitely make your rosacea flare up and it will aggravate it so much. Remember when you have rosacea, you have very sensitive skin. You want to make sure you're being very gentle with your skin. You want to make sure all your skincare products, everything you're doing to your skin is super gentle. Okay, tip number five is all about makeup. You really, again, want to watch what makeup you're putting on your skin. And a lot of times people with sensitive rosacea skin, they won't really pay attention to the makeup that they're wearing on their skin, but that a lot of times can make your rosacea worse and you don't even realize that that's a trigger. When choosing makeup, you really want to make sure all your makeup is fragrance-free and you also want to really lean more towards mineral-based makeup. Mineral-based makeup is so much more gentle to the skin and you should really look into more of a mineral type powder foundation versus a liquid foundation because liquid foundations can actually clog your pores and then that can also lead to flare-ups of rosacea. You want to keep things very gentle on the skin. Mineral-based makeup, powders, blushes, those are going to help your rosacea. Those aren't going to lead to flare-ups. They're going to be more sensitive to your skin. So if you have rosacea, try to steer clear of a lot of the makeup out there and go towards the more mineral-based makeup. Okay, tip number six for rosacea. SPF, you guys, sunscreen every single day, no matter if it's sunny, no matter if it is cloudy, no matter if it's raining. It is the same for everyone out there, but if you have rosacea, it is specifically you need to use SPF every single day and you want to use a mineral-based SPF. A lot of times, chemical SPFs will irritate and aggravate your skin, cause flare-ups. Again, this one right here is the Aven Mineral Ultra Light Hydrating Sunscreen Lotion. It's an SPF of 50. It is water resistant. It has antioxidants in it. It is sheer, so it doesn't leave a white cast to your skin. I love this. It is really nice on the skin. It's very light but hydrating, which is exactly what you want. And again, it doesn't leave any white looking cast to your skin. It's very sheer and very light. This is something that you could easily use every single day and it just works perfectly for any skin type. But if you are sensitive, if you have rosacea, this is just going to be such an awesome SPF for you. It is exactly what you want to look for if you have rosacea. So SPF every single day, and especially if you have rosacea, the sun is such a huge contributing factor to rosacea flare-ups. A lot of times if you are getting sun on your skin, you will definitely notice that your rosacea will act up. You will have more redness to the skin. Some of those bumps will start appearing. You definitely want to control the amount of sun that is hitting your skin. SPF every day. And again, make sure it's the right one. Tip number seven is you really want to calm down any flare-ups that might appear on your skin. You can do anything from adding ice packs to your skin. This will really help soothe and calm any inflammation in your skin. Make sure you're not using anything hot on your skin because that will make it worse. You want to keep things nice and cool and soothing. Also, there are products you can put on that really will help to soothe the skin, bring down that inflammation, bring down the temperature of your skin. There are two that I personally really, really like, and I don't have them here to show you guys. Actually, ones in my bathroom right now, um, but I will link them down below for you guys. The one is the SkinCeuticals, that new mask they just came out with, the Photocorrective Gel Mask. It is so good if you have like rosacea, inflammation, because it is really soothing to the skin. It actually will bring your skin's temperature down by five degrees. So it knocks out the inflammation and it just soothes and calms the skin. And the second one is the Aven, the mask, the anti-rougeurs, which is what I was showing you guys that really is good for rosacea and redness. It's the Aven, the anti-rougeurs mask. It's a soothing mask. And again, it does the same thing. It really brings the redness down from your skin. It helps to soothe, which is exactly what you need to do. When you have a flare-up, you want to soothe your skin. You want to like bring down that inflammation. So both those masks are very calming, very soothing. They take out the redness. So I would definitely suggest keeping those on hand. So if you do get a flare-up, you can just kind of calm and soothe your skin and it just brings down that redness. And the last tip, tip number eight, is just figure out what works for you. So rosacea can go from anywhere from like very mild and I've seen people who have it very severely. So you really want to kind of figure out what works best for you. The skincare product, products, the way you control your flare-ups. There also are things that you can get done like in a doctor's office, such as lasers to help control the redness, to bring the redness down, to control the flushing on your face. The like intense pulse light lasers can be really helpful. The V-beam laser is really good for redness. So there are different lasers that you can use to help control the rosacea as well. But on an everyday basis, 
skincare, skincare, skincare will make all the difference. So I'm gonna show you guys a few of my favorite products for rosacea. Like I said, this event, the anti rougeurs Dermo Cleansing Milk, 1000% recommend this if you have sensitive skin or rosacea skin. It is soothing, it helps to even remove makeup, but it controls redness. I just cannot recommend this enough. And as well as this, which I have talked about and use myself, it is the anti rougeurs again, anti rougeurs line, so amazing. It's the anti rougeurs Fort. So this is the relief concentrate for chronic redness. This is the one that's made for redness on the skin. It is made for broken capillaries. And I can tell you it works. Like it works so well. I have broken capillaries on my nose. I actually have a scar on my nose. It really, over the couple weeks that I've been using this, has made such a big difference. The redness is not there. The broken capillaries are not visible like they were. They, you know how broken capillaries can sometimes you see them like right at your skin, it looks like? Like this has like taken them down so much. And a lot of times broken capillaries will come with rosacea. So this is just an all around awesome product to help with redness. Broken capillaries, it again, soothes the skin. You'll notice if you are having a rosacea flare up and you apply this to those areas, it is just very soothing and calming to the skin as well. So I absolutely love this. Definitely would recommend this. This is something that you can use to spot treat certain areas like I do, or if you have rosacea and you have like redness to the cheeks and you just, you know, have that flush look, you can apply this all over your skin. So it's something that you can use again as you need, but it is amazing. Also the Aven Gentle Toner. This is again, hypoallergenic. All the Aven line is hypoallergenic, fragrance free. Again, it's made for rosacea. So you're not gonna find any harsh ingredients. Everything is super soothing, but this has the Aven Thermal Spring Water in it, which Aven has that spray, which is really, really good again for just like hydrating and soothing the skin. And all their products, well, most of their products, I should say, have the Thermal Spring Water in them. So they're all going to be very soothing. That Thermal Spring Water is so amazing for soothing and hydrating the skin. So this is a very, very good toner. A lot of times people with rosacea will use like too harsh of toners. They think those little acne like bumps from rosacea are pimples and they will use like salicylic acid or you know acne products on that and that is just going to be so much worse for your skin you want to keep everything super gentle so gentle toner this one is my favorite if you have sensitive rosacea skin the best and i showed you guys this too the avan the hydrants optimal this is the light version again there are two different versions light and then the rich version depending on your skin type. And again, we went over the SPF. Again, this is my favorite for sensitive rosacea skin, my favorite. And then this as well, when it comes to moisturizing, I love this. I've been using this again myself. It's the Aven, the Hydrance Optimal, a hydrating serum. I love this stuff. It is so soothing to the skin. It's hydrating. It is just very, very nice to wear under your moisturizer just to really plump and hydrate your skin even more. Just like an absolute favorite of mine. Like I'm wearing this right now. It's a very like light, but like gel kind of like serum. And it, oh my gosh, it feels so good on your skin. Like I just absolutely love it. I've been using it day and night as well. Sometimes two times a day, sometimes just once a day, but I really like the way it feels on your skin. So this is another good option if you have, you know, sensitive rosacea skin. You want hydrating products, but you wanna make sure again that the right ones, very soothing, very light, but very hydrating. So this is awesome as well. So that is it guys. Those are my skincare tips for rosacea skin and sensitive skin. I will link all these products that I mentioned because seriously, I love them all. I will link all of them down below in the description box. You just have to open that up. And also these can all be used with my coupon code too. So I will leave that coupon code down below. But if you have any questions about any products or rosacea or anything like that, sensitive skin in general, let me know down below. I will try to respond to everybody. But thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. I will leave the subscribe link right down below as well. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.